Ugh, flashbang. All right, everybody, welcome back. Part 55. 50. Uh, 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 shit. 55. Let's see what we've got going on. I think we're going to talk to Captain Monroe now. I mean, we've got Hamish. <clears throat> excuse me. Hamish. Um, what's going on there? Hello? Charlotte. Who's Charlotte again? What is happening with my map? Charlotte, Hamish. Does it not tell anything about Charlotte? Okay, let's just go to Captain Monroe. Hold on, I gotta blow my mouse. Daily mouse blowing. Anyway. I was editing earlier, and I really, really miss beans. I really, really miss beans. I mean, Benich's is awesome, and I love them, but... Not beans. Yep. It's just not beans. Beans really like it's just the best. See, beans wouldn't have done that. Beans would have been fine. Anyway, I'm gonna fast forward till we get to uh, Captain Monroe. I'll see you then. Okay, <clears throat> a bit of a long, long ride, but we are here at Wapiti. Wapiti. Let's go talk to Captain Monroe. Hello, here I am as promised. Mm hmm. Is the boy okay? Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Make blurry. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Faber seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so... Maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as... He'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass... He knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to Wapiti after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, nah. we shall. We <clears throat> surely shall. Now come. Let's go. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faith, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. Uh, I think my presence might be making things worse. Maybe. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. 
But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be He's arranged imprisoned. between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Yep. Well, kind of sucks that Eagle Fly has got taken into custody. All Thanks, right. Dutch. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Riding on horseback, five feet apart, because they're not gay. Whoa! Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Poop. Horse poop after every single ride. Why? The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a... Long way from a good man. They coded Secondly, him too much poop. Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. Kay. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll, I'll meet you back them, at the reservation. Man. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Retrieve the medicine from the supply wagon. And how exactly might I do that? Come on, Come on, boy. Yeah. Where did Hold it right there? Whoa, you better put that down right now. We'll open fire if we have to. Am I supposed to shoot them? Because I will. So I wasn't supposed to shoot him because I got karma for doing it. Either way, what's done is done. And I got my meds. Guys, you want to know how I know this is a male horse? Wait, I can't show his balls. That's how, guys. Right there. Horse balls. Because that's in the game. Nothing funny about horse balls, guys. There's no reason to laugh. Nothing funny at all.
All right, so now we return the meds, the antidote to their sickness. And, uh... Then what? Where's Dutch at? What happened to Sadie? What happened to John and Abigail? I want more of that storyline. Also, I've noticed that I haven't been coughing that much. Like, I'm sick, but I don't pass out. I don't cough. What's going on here? Huh? Is the game trying to make me, like, forget that I'm dying? Because I remember. Casual dismount. Put me in the Olympics. 10, 10, 10. All right. <clears throat> Where's little man at? Let's give him some medicine. Oh, this is just... Oh, no, it Captain is. Captain Monroe. Oh, okay. I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh... It didn't go too bad. Oh, I mean, I take your word for did that. kill two people, but... We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. Yeah, well, what about other I people? I just hope Colonel there? Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Pleasure. Maybe it'll get us both <clears throat> killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Pleasure All is mine. Right, boy. All right, now let's see what's going on. Did that say T as in Trelawney? Josiah Trelawney. He needs to speak with us. Alright, back at camp. I will fast forward until I get there, <coughs> starting now. Okay, we are back. Let's go speak to Trelawney. Let's go have a word. Who do you so think Bill. the rat is? What do you mean? Somebody's talking. I can feel- What the heck? Josiah? I, um, I was, uh- Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Where are you going? Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, well I'm dying. if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no, let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Trelawney. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Oh, hey. Sir. How are you? A little right. better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Well, that's what Why Colm he said he wanted. Why want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Of course I will. 
It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. I'll do it. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Of course I'll do it. I want to get Eagle Flies out of... Out of prison. What happened to that horse? I didn't... That was weird. Yeah, I want to get Eagle Flies out of prison. This way. And I also... I also have some men meeting me there. I care about Rain's Fall. Thank you for doing this. Both and I care about helping, doing the right thing. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes there. me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. Yeah. Could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies is under arrest. Yeah, he should it not. Certainly have. won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I don't know if he can. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are again, sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? Yep. When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Yeah, exactly. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. You're welcome. You will be at the meeting, and as one person who knows the true situation, at least, I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. We shall hope for sure. That's all we can do is hope. And as Dutch says, Have a little faith, Arthur! I can't do this raspy voice. Have a little faith. Yeah, no, that's not it. I, I'm just not gonna try. I'm not gonna try anymore. Oh, I hope things don't go south as they usually do. I hope they go north. In a positive direction. Whoa! Whoa, what? Did you almost bump into me or something? Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Cap. Hello. Hello. Whoa! We just a kid now. Kola with Yampi. Shut up, Charles. This way. I love this music. Making me sleepy. All right. There, Benitches. All right. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. That silly name, already Listen, condescending. We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, Quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <laughs> Keep breaking peace treaties <coughs> we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. 
but keep your sickness at bay. I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. Mm -hmm. So let me be very. No, I'm not gonna pass out again. You okay, man? Someone, Jax, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits. Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains. The thing it's quite is, a cough. That guy is so condescending. I already want him dead. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. I don't want him dead. I just want him to be humbled. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks... Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? He favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Kills him. Oh, uh, yep. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Mm. Poor Monroe. I kind of liked him. I know. Well, let's go kill Favors. <laughs> Just kidding. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed you got my water? Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> it's because I'm afraid the federal stupid. government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that Rain's its fall. plan too, we'll sir? meet you back at base. You insult me. You insult I think Charles and I are going to have a word with Colonel man. Favors. Arrest me. Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. I really want to shoot Monroe. Shot. Or not you Monroe. Bitch. Whatever the heck his name is. Favors. Wait, I want to shoot someone. I'm psychotic. Alright, alright, alright. About any race. Like, you're so stupid. You're so childish. You're just immature and dumb. It's so aggravating.
escape. That's a lot. Hold on, fellas. No, the horse. No, 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 no. Worst part of this game. Wait for Captain Monroe to match your horse. Come on, Wiener. Escape with Charles. Let's go. Horse abuse. We need Beth from Rick and Morty to heal her up. I love this music. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. Where'd you get what shot? What do we do now? Oh, okay. You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. Believe I it. heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Yeah, we'll help Rain's Guess fall. I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Yep. Let's get you on this train, bud. Hey, get back on your horse. Okay, boy. Okay, let me just mount my horse real quick. <clears throat> now go ahead and get off it. <coughs> oh my goodness. Whatever. It's the coding of the game. Calm down. Take it easy. That cough. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. God has better plans for you. Take it. You're Get a good out man. of here. Start a new life somewhere. Trying to do the right thing. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Forget it. Nothing. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> Hi. Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh, that's Brother awesome. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm, dying. I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We so we all did sin. get it from Thomas Downs. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but 
Whenever we happen to meet, you, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. What? I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> yes, it does. But I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you. And everything makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Oh, man. Goodbye. Sister. Love does exist, guys. Not just here on Earth. But in the great beyond. Good job, Beans. Oh, it's not beans. I miss beans. I'm sorry, Beninches. All right, boy. I haven't even studied Beninches yet. Oh man, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Is that C for Charles? Charles needs to speak to you, Hamish, and Charlotte. What are we going to do? I'm going to call the episode there, but I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you're enjoying. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.